The Airdyne bike is an excellent option for your cardiovascular assessment in the sense that it's low impact and it doesn't require the same degree of technical skill as the rower. There are though a couple of setup items that you're going to want to take care of before you get started. The first thing you're going to want to pay attention to is the seat height. At the bottom of the pedal stroke, you don't want your leg to be left too bent, but you also don't want to be too extended. A slight bend in the knee at the bottom with the, the ball or your feet on the pedal is probably the best. Now, the seat height doesn't have infinite settings, so you might find that you're between the two, uh, between the two spots. If that's the case, then choose the one that feels the most comfortable for you and that you feel the most powerful with. You can also adjust the seat forward and back because at the front of the stroke, you don't want to be reaching too far to those handles. Just like with the pedal stroke, too much reach and not enough reach means that you're getting a suboptimal sub power effort out of the press. Now, when you're ready to go for the test, all you have to do is press start and make sure that the timer starts clicking away. You don't want to be uh, pedaling away and not getting any credit for that work. The calories are right here, and that's all you're focusing on in terms of the, uh, the assessment. So that's about all you need to know. Uh, once it's set up, it's just a matter of pedaling. That said, the one last bit of uh, advice I can give you, don't come out too hard, especially if this is one of the first times you've used the bike. This thing can get really difficult really quickly and you don't want to blow yourself up in the first, I don't know, quarter of the, uh, of the assessment or the drill. Okay, that's all I got for you now. Uh, like always, train smart, train hard, and you know what, have fun.